Weird sciencey facts that boggle my mind. The connection between hippos and cows and horses and whales is pretty batty. It's a pun, you'll get it later. Someone asked you to name a couple animals that were similar and you said cows and horses. I doubt you'd find many people who'd find that objectionable. They have four legs and a tail, they've got hooves, they eat grass. They can usually be found side by side on ranches and farms. And you wouldn't be altogether wrong. They are distant cousins with an evolutionary path diverging about 80 million years ago. And if somebody were to tell you horses and cows are cousins with the hippopotamus, that probably wouldn't take a whole lot of imagination for you to understand why as well. Hell, hippopotamus even means water horse. In fact, all of these animals are hooved animals called ungulates are you a, are you an ungulate that was that was my apple sir and all of these ungulates are divided into two groups even an odd toe horses for example are considered really considered odd toe uh, because they only have one toe per hoof or foot where things like cattle and uh, pigs and giraffe sheep deer and hippos are all even toed ungulates because they have well even number of hooves on each foot. Keep in mind this only includes weight-bearing toes because horses actually have another toe up here. Uh, it's called a chestnut and evolution forgot about it. This is actually like hard toenail material and this is what's left over from when cows and uh, horses had a common ancestor millions of years ago and horses used to be even-toed, apparently. This information actually means that uh, hippos, you know, the water horse, is more closely related to cows than they are to horses. But you probably won't find that nearly as preposterous as when I tell you another member of the even-toed ungulate family is whales, dolphins, and porpoises. In fact, their closest living relative is the hippo, and the cow is not much further down the line. This means that the cows that are in the next pasture over are more closely related to Free Willy than they are to Harley here. Yep, humpbacks and Holsteins are more closely related than Andalusians and Angus. Which then makes you think horses must be more closely related to something else than cows as well. And you'd be correct, their closest living relative that's not a horse-like creature is actually dogs and cats. Which is certainly not something I would have had pegged, but that's not nearly as strange as their next closest living relative, flippin' bats. Dogs, cats, and bats are more closely related to horses than horses are related to cows. So it makes it seem that much more appropriate that even though before I knew this, we hung the bat house that Emily's dad made up on the barn next to the horses. When the bats finally move in there and I let the dogs outside, it's basically going to be a family reunion out here in the pasture. I told you it was batty. And the fact that evolution has made Betsy closer cousins with a blue whale than a Budweiser Clydesdale, well, that is pretty mind-boggling.